here in 2025, electric cars have become commonplace. And if you've ever considered an electric car, you may wonder what that MPGE is compared to the miles per gallon per gallon of gasoline in another car. Well, I'm going to go over that today, what it means, and is it really as economical to get an electric car as you may think it is? The surprising answer is not really. So MPGE is miles per gallon equivalent with electricity. So for example, a Tesla Model 3, I think they stayed about 130 MPGE and something like a Model S Plaid is right around 100 MPGE. Well, that is MPG equivalent. So miles per gallon equivalent. Now that equivalency isn't necessarily a dollar value of how much you pay at a pump. The equivalency is, is equated to roughly how much energy you can get out of a gallon of gasoline and how far your electric vehicle can go on that same amount of energy that was put into the battery. So according to the internet, a gallon of gasoline contains about 33.7 kilowatt hours. So if a electric car says that it can go 100 miles equivalent, it can go 100 miles on 33.7 kilowatt hours. Well, so just how much do you pay for that kilowatt hour? So I went ahead and pulled up my electric bill, as you can see here, and I went down through and added things up, and I am paying at my house here about 19.42 cents per kilowatt hour, plus a sort of flat fixed fee every month. So I'm not gonna add that in, because I get that no matter what if I am running everything in my house. So, if I take 33.7 kilowatt hours times my 19.42 cents, I get an equivalent of roughly $6.55. So what does that mean? That means I am paying essentially the equivalent of $6.55 per gallon of gasoline to charge up my electric car at home. Now, kilowatt hours can vary by area and state and location. According to the internet, the national average is something around 6.44 cents per kilowatt hour, with California averaging at around 30 cents per kilowatt hour, but you also have much more expensive gasoline than most of the country. So if you already drive a fuel efficient car, switching to a fully electric may not make that much of a financial benefit on the amount of miles traveled. For example, the car I drive on a regular basis, I get about 37 miles per gallon in my travels. And if I multiply that out by my 3.25 cents per gallon, which is roughly the price of gasoline in my area right now, for me to go 100 miles, I have to pay about $8.78 at the pump. Now, if I drove a Tesla Model S Plaid for simplicity's sake that says it gets about 100 miles per gallon equivalent. If I'm paying $6.55 for the kilowatt hour equivalent, that's not a whole lot less than the $8.78 I'm going to pay to drive 100 miles in my current gasoline powered car. So in reality, while the miles per gallon equivalent looks really darn good on paper, you pay a lot more for the electricity than you would per a gallon of gasoline to get the equivalent amount of kilowatt hours. So it's not as good as you really think it is switching to an electric car. Now I'm not saying electric cars aren't cool or, you know, is the energy grid goes more green, you're not burning fossil fuels, that it's for a good cause. All I'm saying is there's simply not the financial cost savings switching to an electric car from a energy use 
standpoint because of just how much you pay for electricity versus what you pay for a gallon of gasoline. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you're curious why they actually put lead in paint, please watch the linked video here at the end of this video. Thank you.